Hey y'all, Patrick here with Tomon's Guitars and Basses. And today I wanted to ask the most controversial question that there is in the bass world. And that simply is to pick or not to pick. So when I say this is the most controversial question there is in the bass world, I'm really joking. But I'm also not because a lot of people put so much emphasis on a little piece of plastic and whether that makes you a good bass player or not, where in reality, it doesn't matter if you play with a pick, play with your fingers, play with a shoe or anything else. It just matters that you're playing a bass, right? Or does it? But either way, there are so many different ways to play bass, but of course the main ones are either fingerstyle or with a pick. Now, in my opinion, this is a pretty easy contest. It doesn't matter. It all depends on the player and the song, basically what this song calls for and what the player themselves is most comfortable with. And today I really wanted to dig into this question and experiment with the different ways we can play with a pick and without a pick. And not only that, but in three different songs and contexts that would be, you know, a little different and make sense for each of them too. For this first example, I just wanted to try using a pick or not for basically a simple rock verse. This can be a very clean sound to it. So basically we can get the full tone of using the pick and not using the pick. And then for this particular demonstration, I'll be using this Dunlop Sharp 1.14 millimeter pick that has that really nice thickness to it, but it has the sharp end to it too. So what's really cool about using a pick, especially with the sharp ends, is that it allows you to get a much more brighter tone than if you would with fingers. Of course, this isn't for everybody. There are so many players out there that have fantastic dexterity and tone in their fingers, but picks are just usually generally brighter and just have a more pronounced percussion to them too. For this next example, I wanted to use my Fender Mustang that has flats on it, and I absolutely love playing this both with fingers and with a pick. With a pick, it just has that really nice, sharp, full sound to it. But of course, when you lay back and use fingers too, it has that beautiful old school tone to it. And for this demonstration, I'll be using the thinner 0.96 millimeter that's thinner and it just has more dexterity to it. And it's just a lot more sort of flimsy, but in a really nice way to play with. And then finally, I wanted to try out a bass tone that was full of distortion with some just nasty riffs. Of course, with a pick, it sounds really clinky and clanky, but then on top of that too, it sounds really good full and thick without a pick as well. And then for this demonstration, I'll just be using this Dunlop one millimeter that has, again, a nice thickness to it because it's in between that 0.96 and that 1.14 too, but it doesn't have the sharp end to it.
And those are just three different examples of us looking at playing picks with a base. Of course, there are so many different techniques to playing with a pick and playing without one too. And of course, again, it all just boils down to two simple things. What the player is most comfortable playing with and then what is best for the song too. Other than that, who cares? <laughs> but thank you so much for going on this journey with me today. I always love just talking about different techniques with playing bass and just how fun it is no matter what. Again, whether you're playing a pick or not playing a pick, as long as you're playing and practicing, that's all that matters. But thank y'all so much for watching as always, and let us know in the comments below what videos y'all wanna see next. But y'all, thank you so much for watching, and of course, whether you play with a pick or not, it doesn't matter. Just play bass. <laughs> <laughs>